Good morning, everyone. Thank you for starting the day out with me. I'm Jenna Stauffer. I'm excited to welcome back artist and designer Judy Bradford. Judy is the maker of the fabulous Fascinator hats that you see all around the Keys. Judy started making these fabulous hats around two years ago, and she has barely been able to keep up with demand ever since. Now, Judy is getting ready to travel to England to study with three prestigious British hat makers. Everything she learns there will be added to her homegrown techniques. Hats by Judy International started in Key West, Florida. She has sold over 350 unique, one-of-a-kind Fascinator hats on this tiny little dot of a tropical island. This summer, Judy goes to England to expand her skills in study with three prominent British milliners. She will then return to her island studio at the studios of Key West, an artist community, to create a series of hats based on what she has learned. It's the perfect culmination of my skills. Years of design and drawing and illustration and lots of sewing and even some sculpture thrown in. And it all comes together in these little hats. And I love working in this scale with these exquisite fabrics, vintage veils, buttons, laces, all the various trims. I can entertain myself for hours just manipulating fabric into dramatic little design curls. Judy researched UK hat makers and narrowed her choices down to three, each with a particular technique she wanted to learn. All of the milliners have been featured or mentioned in Vogue and make hats for the Royal Ascot Royal Enclosure, the British standard for fine hat making. I'm self-taught in hat making. I've always done a lot of needlework. Uh, I learned how to crochet before I learned how to read, so there's an indicator. Um, I had a very successful self-sculpture business in the 1980s. I shipped critters, the first suction cup critters and life-size figures. I shipped to five continents. I had wholesale, retail, I had employees, I had the whole thing going. And, um, and even in high school, in high school I was making suede garments and I made a boned strapless prom dress with a shirred bell skirt and piped seams. And I've always had this going on somewhere in my life. And I'm anxious now to just learn the traditional hat materials, the traditional hat tools, and the skills that go with that and see what that does to what I've been doing. Key West has embraced Judy's hats. She recommends her cocktail hats for nearly any occasion where cocktails are served. She says her hats are magic, but denies that the magic comes from her. She has noticed that people always smile when they say a woman in a hat, and of course several hats in any room elevate the mood of any event. Even walking down the street, strangers smile and comment on Judy's hats. I am so looking forward to finding new ways of working and new materials that will expand what I can do. I hope you'll help me get there. The money raised here will pay for transportation to and within England, and lodging of course, and the tuition with the three wonderful milliners who have invited me into their studios for one-on-one -on -one instruction. I'm putting together some awesome awards for your generosity. I'm doing some sultry uh, charcoal drawings of the hats. I'll have 
uh, Shieldman photography photos of my hats that are just gorgeous. I'm doing some little uh, boutonnieres and hat band pins featuring Key West rooster feathers. And uh, of course there will be some special design hats for the more generous donations. I am really looking forward to this trip as a creative adventure and I really appreciate your help. So please help me reach my goal and get back to the roots of fascinator hat making in jolly old England. <laughs>
that that's a funding um, crowd, they call it crowdsourcing. Mm -hmm. And it ends on June 10th, so I'm trying to uh, reach my goal on that. And it is to help fund the trip to England. Mm -hmm. And uh, if anybody wants to help support that trip, they can go to Kickstarter and um, they can uh, give me a pledge. Each pledge gets a reward of some sort. Some mm -hmm. of them get hats. Some of them get some of my charcoal drawings of women mm -hmm. wearing hats. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and then I expect to be off on a new design, creative design adventure for the coming season mm -hmm. using all the experiences I've had this summer. This is a great summer. I'll see a lot of interesting design work at the mm -hmm. craft festival and then uh, working with these three ladies. I'm just thrilled to see that happening and figure out what I'm going to learn from them. Mm -hmm. Well, you'll be learning so much and I look forward to your return, Judy. And please, you can help support Judy on her trip to England. Just go to kickstarter.com. All right, and search for Judy Bradford. Judy, thank you for being on with me this Thanks. morning. Thanks. When mm -hmm. I get back, I'll have a new hat a new for you hat. to wear. The magic hat. <laughs> a new magic hat for you to wear. All right, sounds great. I'm going to take a quick break right now. There's much more to come today. Stay with me.